يا ليت اليوم تفهمني وتفهم خاطري ورحل تكلم والشجرة مني سيف الهم تراه At the same time you do find encouraging the good to order the good and forbid the evil but forbidding the evil is more important if you read through the works of Sheikh Rustam ibn Taymiyyah and likewise other ulama have highlighted that point as well prevent evil is more powerful than just encouraging good inside society so that's this deen becomes a deen of prevention to prevent certain things to prevent you from falling into something a deen of prevention not at a later stage when people have committed haram acts or fallen into dangerous atmospheres and dangerous environments and then begin to seek the cure the deen begins right from the beginning it prevents you right from the initial stages to fall into any form of immediate vice because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator he is the one he is al khaliq and he has created the makhluq and he knows what is the nature of man because he subhanahu wa ta'ala created insan so when people think that maybe God doesn't know what man needs or the laws at the moment the sharia ah are not compatible to the 21st century they're barbaric laws they're Bedouin laws their previous laws of the 6th century you fail to understand the Sharia of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Sharia highlights according to the Quran Allah ya'lamu man khalaq wa huwa al-latiful khabir does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not know what he has created and he's the most subtle and the aware meaning you are trying to challenge God now by saying that living in the 21st century ya Mawlana living in this environment we should do whatever we want to do because what you're trying to preach is a 6th century Bedouin understanding of Islam but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Allah ya'lamu man khalaq does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not know what he has created? So that's blasphemy. That's what you're doing. You're blaspheming against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by challenging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Saying that we are living in a modern time. We are living in the 21st century. Certain fundamental principles of Sharia will never change, no matter what century it is. External factors of Sharia may change. The way that we dress, the things that we eat, the way that we walk, the transport that we take. That may change. But fundamental principles of Sharia will always remain there. A deen of prevention and taking people away from vice. But under the paradox of Islam at the moment, you find many people begin to do whatever they want to do under the cause of Islam. But in their heart is a sickness. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases that sickness inside their heart. Remember, the way to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is never going to be through muharramat. Never can you get to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by going through haram things. Let that lesson be clear. Whether even if it be jihad fi sabilillah, don't think that you commit haram, you'll get to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't think that you hold Islamic conferences and you have certain things there just for the benefit of the humanity, you've made it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't think that you pull in 40,000 people together and sing together and chant together that you've made your goal because that's not the sharia of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let that message go clear to these people that's why I don't sit in such arenas and I let people know the message clear because right from the beginning, beginning I don't believe in no loose concept of Islam and I let those people know because that's real rujula, real manhood that I don't like no woman to butt next to me and tell me because that's Islam, that's my deen. I've got ghira. I've got a sense of shame. And that's what's happened to our society in its pretext of Islam. People are losing this shame. Read the classical ulama. To approach a man, you'd think a thousand times. But today in our loose speech, any woman can come and speak to you under the pretext of Islam. I've seen individuals there standing there, and a woman laughs in their face, and a man laughs in her face. That's not a deen given to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. 